Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to see how we can leverage Django REST framework pagination. In order to do that, let's jump onto their documentation and find out what they offer. So this is the Django REST framework official documentation where they talked about pagination and I'm uh, in the section of page number pagination and at the bottom, you will, if you go to the setup section, you will see a little piece of code. We're going to grab that code snippet and we will paste into our settings.py file. So here we go. Now this page number presentation, which derives from REST framework dot presentation, is going to do all the magic for us, and it has uh, attribute page size, which is hundred uh, now uh, for the time being, and we are going to change it to two. How about that? Because since I don't have a lot of data into my database, so I'm gonna save it now as page size as two. And if I go to the web, I have something ready for you guys. Uh, I have already set up a supplier list and a merchant list. The merchant list um, has like five items, whereas supplier has three. And now if I refresh, well, all I'm expecting is to have two items, okay? So how about that? Okay, it is giving me two items because remember, okay, size equal to two. And if I go to the merchant list, I refresh it and it also gives me two items. Excellent, right? Now, if you think that this is the end of the video, then you are not right, okay? Uh, I'm going to show you some custom pagination style as well. Uh, at least I'm going to show three styles. So you have to stick around and uh, keep on watching the video and do not skip the video, otherwise you won't understand. And what you can do, you can hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel. This is gonna give me like a superpower, you know, to make more videos, okay, next time. So you can do that for me. Now, why do you need custom pagination style? Um, it is because uh, remember you have um, set page size equal to two uh, that's the reason why it is giving you two items but what happens like uh, for the supplier list you are okay when it is two but for the merchant list you want to bring at least four items from the database if you have that situation how can you handle this because if you write four over here if you write four over here this is gonna change the setting for supplier list too but I want to personalize merchant list and I want to bring four items. Now, how can I do that? So for those specific situations, you know, you can uh, customize your uh, pagination. Uh, so we're going to do that now. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to to go to that merchant app. So and find out views. Okay. So as you can see, it is already set up and now all I have to do, I have to say pagination class and I'm going to write a custom class here. So let's name custom pagination style one. Okay. Since I'm going to show you three. So let's put this one as custom pagination style one. And now I haven't written this yet, so I need to write that class. You can write that class anywhere you want to, maybe into a different file, but uh, for the simplicity, I will write it here. So, okay, and right now, this custom pagination style one has to be derived from this main pagination page number pagination class. Okay, so I'm gonna copy that and I can paste that in but this is not it because I have to import it right guys so from rest framework dot pagination sorry pagination import that page number pagination okay so now uh, it is ready and all you have to do you have to say page size equal to let's say since we wanted to bring four items from the database so let's put four so now this um, merchant list is not going to um, follow the default setting okay rather it's going to follow the custom pagination style one which is going to bring four items for us okay so let's save it and refresh uh, on the web okay so merchant list i'm going to refresh it it is bringing me four items supplier list if I refresh it, it still brings two items because this one actually follows the global setting. This one uh, follows the personal customized uh, style one setting, I would say. Okay. So now that you have understood uh, style one, 
I'm going to uh, write this style too, but before I do that, I would like to um, explain something. Let's say your front-end engineer ha uh, wants to um, decide like what the page size would be or like, uh, you know, he wants to decide like how many items he wants to get from the database because for a style one, it is hard-coded, but we want the dynamic one, okay, from the front-end. So for that case, you can write style two. So the style two will be like as follows. Uh, let me rename that and we're not going to say page size anymore instead we're going to say page size query uh, param equal to a string okay any string I'm going to say limit uh, but you could put any string you want to so this is the word your front-end engineer will know and he will uh, set a value uh, for this um, uh, limit I will show you that in a second and now I'm going to copy that and we will change that okay and we'll paste that in so now your merchant list is going to follow custom pagination style 2 instead of 1 so okay our merchant list uh, has brought I think uh, two items but now we want to set a limit like we want to decide how many items we want to get so let's say your front-end engineer has decided to bring one item so limit equal to one it brings one fantastic um, let's say he wants to bring five okay he brings five so fantastic right and what happens the supplier list if I refresh this it still follows the uh, global setting okay but what happens if I don't specify any limit it brings two why is it so it is because when you don't set a limit or your front-end engineer doesn't set a limit it goes to the settings.py file and it follows the global setting that is it okay as simple as that okay now it's time to write down our last pagination style so I'm gonna write I'm gonna copy that and let's rename this as three okay and we want our merchant list uh, to follow style 3 but style 3 is the combination of style 1 and style 2 okay let me copy the page size uh, from the top and uh, paste it here and set it to 1 um, yeah you can put anything you want I put it 1 and then I also uh, set page size query param equal to limit so now it is the combination of uh, one and two style and uh, this number three uh, is going to uh, ask the limit if you give the limit it will um, give you the result if you don't give the limit it will uh, bring you only one item uh, and, and uh, yeah because it is specified here and it's not going to go to the setting file and find the default value um, I mean global value so let's uh, limit 5 and it will definitely bring you 5 items here we go and let's not specify anything let's see what it brings and it is bringing you 1 so it means it is sticking to its own uh, value and not the uh, default value which is 2 uh, so it is sticking to its own um, default value base size equal to 1 so yeah that is pretty much it guys um, I think uh, now you have you know all the uh, combinations and all the uh, custom pattern uh, so yeah they are, they are useful so you can try them and uh, you also have the uh, default uh, custom pagination too so that is it uh, from my side uh, if you like this video hit the like button I'll see you in the next video thank you very much Tata bye bye